My name is William Justice. Today we're going to be making a Star Wars text effect inspired by the new Disney Plus show The Mandalorian. It's about a bounty hunter and um, a baby Yoda, and they run around and they have adventures and stuff. I'm watching it with my family. It's not a bad show. It's not uh, it's not the best show, but it's kind of interesting. Something to something to watch. So in the, the intro to the show, they have uh, I think I think they did a really good job. They have some kind of chrome helmets. It's a, they have a Kylo Ren, a Darth Vader, some droid helmets, and they have these red, blue, and green lights that kind of go across them and kind of shine across looks like kind of a lightsabery kind of a look and that fades out to some star wars text the typical star wars but a little bit different so the typical star wars text is a uh, it's got a yellow outline around the the star wars font what they did here is the font kind of fades in and there's red blue and green around the outline um, it's kind of kind of dimmed i'm going to do it a little bit brighter like i said the, the mine's just kind of inspired by that so we're going to go into davinci resolve fusion and create something kind of similar Okay, so what is all this blue green blue green stuff? Um, I saw saw the new Star Wars movie tonight, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I'll let you see it for yourself. You can decide if you like it or not. The Force Awakened I thought was really really good. The Last Jedi I didn't like it so much. The new movie you just have to see it for yourself and decide what you think. So I decided to light this up with lightsabers because we're doing some Star Wars. So we got the blue and the green. They're a little bit loud, but I wanted to see if I could uh, light this video with all lightsabers and see what kind of effects we could get. Uh, it's kind of, kind of interesting. If you like my videos, please subscribe, comment below, let me know how you think I'm doing. Okay, let's get into DaVinci Resolve Fusion and we'll set up a, a real quick text effect. Okay, let's get started setting up the uh, Star Wars text effect. Now, this is not exactly, I just, from watching The Mandalorian, um, when the text comes in, it's got some just hints of the red and blues and greens going around it. Mine is going to be a little bit stronger, um, a little bit uh, more of a col more, more colors on it. Um, but uh, you'll get the idea once we get started. So first thing we want to do is create a, a fusion composition. So we'll right click in the media pool, say new fusion composition, and we'll just set it for uh, 15 seconds. We'll drag that down into the timeline and get into fusion. So the first thing we want to do is create our text. So we'll take the text node and drag it down into the node area. And I guess we can go ahead and uh, connect that up with the media out. So with the text selected, we'll hit two so that we see it in the monitor. And we'll go over to the inspector and enter our text. This can really be whatever you want, but we're gonna say um, Star Wars, like that. Now we, well, I downloaded a, uh, there's a Star Wars, uh, I think it's called Star Jedi font. Um, so we're going to go with that to kind of give us the right look. We'll scroll down and find it. Star Jedi. So there it is. Um, let's go ahead and increase the size a little bit. So there's our Star Wars font. So you'll notice that when with the uh, the sample, the 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 center is transparent and the there's an outline around the Star Wars. So what you can do is go into the paint area. Now this is this is not going to work, but I will show you why. So when you hit appearance, you can choose outline as opposed to solid. And you see we get an outline around it. But the problem is right here. Some of the way this font is, the letters overlap and we don't really want that. So we're going to have to do something a little bit different. So we're going to put it back on put it back to solid. And we're going to use the edge detect. So we'll hit uh, control space with the text node selected and search for edge detect and add that. We'll hit two so we can see it. So there we got the, the edge detected. And we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna bump up this denoise strength to kind of give it a, make it a little thicker. Okay, so that, that's good enough to get started. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is start creating the, the colored versions of the text. And to do that, we're going to use the uh, color corrector. So we're going to right click, on, or we're just going to click in the main area, control space, and search for color corrector. Add that in there. Okay, so we, we have our color corrector. Now let's go ahead and take the edge detect, and we're going to bring that into the color corrector. So with the color corrector, hit two, and then we're going to use the, the color corrector to change the color here. So if we want this to be red. Over in the inspector, we can select the green channel and take the gain all the way down. 
And then we can select the blue channel and take the gain all the way down. And there we have a red outline text. So we're going to do this for pretty much all of them. All the colors are going to follow the same pattern. So we're going to do it once and then copy it. So we're going to take a merge node and slide that in. And then on top of the merge node, we're going to use a fast noise. And that's what's going to mix up the colors for us. So we'll take the fast noise and bring that into the merge. Okay, so that's going to be our basic setup. So we're going to hit two on fast noise. And let's scroll out here so we can see it. We're going to crank up the detail and crank up the contrast. And we're going to bring the scale up so that it's, uh, there's a little more detail. We can adjust the seethe and change the seethe rate. Now, th th these are all settings that you can play with when you're doing this. Um, so you got, we, we can see it like that. And we'll bump it up a little bit more, see, see what that looks like. Okay, so now, so we have the fast noise being merged with the the Star Wars text, so the Star Wars text fast noise. So when we do that, we're actually going to want the the uh, the text to be the foreground and the fast noise to be the background. So with with the selector, we're going to hit Control T, and the green is for the foreground and yellow is the background. Then we're going to change our operator to N. Now you'll see that what we have is we have the Star Wars text with the colors kind of um, being blocked out here and there. So all we have to do is create one for each of the colors and we're going to overlay them and it's going to create the basics for the effect. So we'll, we'll select the color corrector fast noise and the merge and we'll copy that and we're going to paste it right here. We're going to paste it one time and we're going to paste it one more time. So then we're going to take the edge detect and bring it into each of these color correctors. Okay, so this color corrector, we're going to change this one to blue. So to do that, we're going to let's reset it. Go hit the uh, reset in the upper right. So to make it blue, we're going to take the red and bring the gain all the way down and take the green and take the gain all the way down. So now we have blue. It's going into the merge. So for the fast noise, we just need to adjust the seed because we don't want it to be exactly the same as the one up here. So we'll hit the fast noise and we'll just kind of adjust that so it's going to be slightly off from where the red one is. Okay, so now we have we have our red, we have our blue, and now we need to make our green. So we'll go back to the bottom color corrector and we'll reset it upper right. And because we're making it green, we're going to take the red and bring that all the way down and the blue and bring that all the way down. Or Yeah, there we go. It's green. So there may be a better way to do this. I was playing around with it for a while. The reason I wanted to set it up like this was that so that there would be one text node. Um, so if you if I wanted to adjust the text, I could just do I could put really whatever I wanted to in here, and I'm using that and the same edge edge to text. So if the if we're adjusting the edge and the settings on that, it's going to apply to each of the copies. So let's reset that back to Star Wars, just like that. Okay, so now what we do, we need to take each of these and merge them on top of each other. So we're going to create a new merge node by dragging it on here. And we'll take the, this is going to be the red, and we're going to put that into the, the background. The background foreground, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll take this one and we'll put it in there. Now when we look at that merge, you can see that both of those are kind of on top of each other. Okay, for this next, uh, let's see, so we did the, we got the color, we got the green set up. <clears throat> now we need to change the the seeth for the uh, for this one right here, and then we're going to take the output of here of the uh, this one right here is the blue and the red, and we're going to take the output of the blue and the red and merge it with the green, like that, and we'll hit two on that, and you can see that we got a little bit of red, blue, and green kind of all mixed in there. And when we play this, it's going to animate around. So now the last thing we want to do is we want one more of these because the, for, in this effect, it fades to yellow. So we're going to create another color corrector. Um, let's see, we can let's hit control space and search for color corrector and add that in. In this color corrector, we're going to take the edge detect and bring it into it. We'll select two. 
and we're going to make it yellow. So we want to take the blue out of it. So it's just going to have red and green, and that by taking the blue out, we're going to get some yellow. Okay, so let's work on the uh, the effect of the main the main one here. So the the effect that they have is is a lot more muted than this. <clears throat> so we're gonna put um, we're gonna add a um, brightness contrast node, just like that, and we can take the uh, the saturation and bring it down quite a bit. And let's see, we'll hit F two on that. So this is gonna make it a little bit more muted, like kind of like theirs was. We're also gonna add. So, well, actually, let's go ahead and put it on a, a black background so we can kind of see what it looks like. <clears throat> so we're going to drag a background in here, and we're going to merge this in with our black background. Hit the background to its black, and merge it in there. And we'll bring that to the media out. So that's kind of what we're looking like right now. So we'll take this over here because we're going to do add some more effects in here. So first thing we're going to add in is a little bit of a blur. And with the brightness contrast connected, uh, selected, we're going to hit blur and we're going to bring up the blur size a little bit. Just, just a touch of blur. And then we're going to add in some glow. So with the blur selected, control space and type in glow. And we can we can adjust our, our glow settings, kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of a glow there. I'm going to take the blur and bring it down just a touch. And we can also come over to the edge detect and adjust how these settings look if we want to make it a little thinner line, Something like that. Um, the last thing that I did is I added a little bit of a. Um, I added some light rays to it because I think it's kind of a neat effect. I don't think they have that on theirs, but uh, but I like the way it looked when I did it. So we're going to hit uh, select the glow, hit control space, and search for uh, light rays. And we'll add that in. And we'll take the, uh, we'll bring it down just a touch. Turn down the brightness on it so it's just, just kind of barely there. And let's see what we have. Now there, theirs is a lot more muted, so we could we could actually take this and we could, um, you know, bring bring the gain down with the brightness contrast to make it a little more faded, blended into the background. Okay, so one of the things you'll, you'll notice with their logo or their uh, their text is it fades. It starts out with this kind of a muted multicolor look, and it fades in into the full on yellow. So that's why we have this yellow color corrector down here. So this is this is our full yellow one. So what we want to do is we're going to use a um, dissolve node. So we're going to right, we're going to click on that uh, the color corrector, hit Control Space, and search for dissolve. So this is our dissolve node, and we're going to have the we're going to dissolve between we're going to dissolve between this version and the full on yellow. So we're going to disconnect the brightness contrast and put it into the dissolve and then we're going to take the dissolve and put that into the blur. So what this is going to allow us to do is with the dissolve selected we can go up to the inspector area in the foreground background and we can actually let's hit, hit the dissolve there. We can toggle or switch between each of the different versions. So we're going to be able to have it, let me bring this down and select the media out so you can see what it looks like I'm back black. So we have the dissolve and we're going to be able to kind of blend between the full on yellow version and then the colored version. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start out at about um, let's go say 90 frames and we're going to have it right here. So it's going to be a, it's going to be showing the color version and we'll go to let's say maybe 130 and we've we've hit the keyframe there so we'll be able to blend it back like this so now it's going to start with color and it's going to slowly blend in and dissolve into the standard yellow one 
And all, we can play with all these settings. We can still come in and change the uh, change the edges, make it a little cleaner, or we can make it a little softer if we want to. And the last the last part of this effect is there's a uh, the text kind of starts fading in right here. So the text kind of fades in. So we're going to go ahead and add that. So we can do that right here in this merge. Um, with the blend, so we can take. The, if we want to fade, we can take the blend all the way down. So let's go to the first frame. In the blend, we're going to hit a keyframe, or we're going to set that at zero, and we'll go to maybe frame 40 or something, and bring it up to about one. So that that way, the text is going to kind of fade in like that. The last thing we got to do is the uh, we're going to put in a transform so the, te the text is going to start smaller and get bigger. So we can do that right after this dissolve. We will hit control space and search for transform. Add that in. So the first frame, let's go ahead and for this merge, we're going to crank it up so that we can kind of see our text. So for the first frame, Let's see, go back to transform. We're going to take the size and bring it down quite a bit like that. And then we'll go out to maybe frame 100. And actually, let's go back to the first frame. We're going to keyframe the size and we we'll go to frame like, uh, say, 120. That's good enough. And we'll bump the size up just a bit like that. Now we're going to go back to our merge and go back to the first frame and we're going to take the blend all the way down and that should be most of the effect minus some just adjustments and tweaking of settings so let's take a look and see what it, see what it's like if you like my videos please subscribe comment below let me know how you think i'm doing